The 72-inch Kensgrove is an indoor-outdoor ceiling fan with an energy-saving DC motor that is perfectly suited for great rooms and covered patios. We'll show you how to install the fan with step-by-step -step instructions. If you would like to skip ahead to a specific part of the installation, pause the video and use this menu for reference. Otherwise, continue watching for the complete installation guide. If you feel that you do not have enough electrical wiring knowledge or experience, have your fan installed by a licensed electrician. Installation requires an installed ceiling outlet box that is UL listed and acceptable for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a stepladder, Phillips screwdriver, wire stripper, electrical tape, and about one hour to install the fan. With your equipment ready and your new ceiling fan unpacked, you can now begin the installation. The tri-mount feature on this fan allows you to install it on different types of ceilings. For standard ceilings, and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees, mount the fan using the down rod. For low ceilings, mount the fan using the alternate flush mount option. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan using the down rod, or skip ahead to the flush mount installation section. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. First, prepare the canopy by twisting and removing the canopy ring. Remove the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. The hanger bracket can now be removed. Prepare the motor coupling by removing the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball down rod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the down rod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. Next, assemble the fan by feeding the motor's wires through the down rod and threading it onto the motor's collar. Align the holes on the down rod with the holes on the collar, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy onto the down rod. Then carefully reinstall the hanger ball. To attach the mounting bracket, loosen the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires through the center hole. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket to hold it up. The tab on the mounting bracket will need to align with the groove in the hanger ball. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the motor to the neutral wire in the box, and the black wire from the motor to the hot wire in the box. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Then tuck the wires neatly into the box. Finally, assemble the canopy by sliding it up to the ceiling and twisting it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. 
slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. The fan is now properly mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan using the alternate flush mount installation or skip ahead to the section for attaching the fan blades. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. Prepare the canopy assembly by twisting and removing the canopy ring. Then unscrew the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket and bottom canopy cover. Prepare the motor by removing three of the six collar screws to make a triangle pattern. Assemble the fan by placing the canopy ring on top of the motor. Align the holes on the canopy with the screws on the collar and insert the three removed screws to secure the canopy to the motor. To attach the mounting bracket, loosen the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires through the center hole. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and use one of the holes in the canopy to hang it from the hanger bracket's hook. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the motor to the neutral wire in the box and the black wire from the motor to the hot wire in the box. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Then tuck the wires neatly into the box. Finally, assemble the canopy by unhooking the fan and pushing it up to the ceiling. Twist it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. The installation is complete and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. The fan motor assembly is shipped with packing mounts to prevent movement during transportation. Use a screwdriver to remove all packing mounts from underneath the motor assembly. Attach the fan blade to the blade arm by aligning the holes and inserting the blade attachment screw securely. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. Install the fan blade assemblies by aligning and tightening the pre-assembled blade arm screws onto the motor. Repeat the process for the remaining blade assemblies. With the fan blades attached, you can now install the light kit. Remove one of the screws from the mounting ring and loosen the remaining screws. Then bring the mounting plate up to the fan. Align and twist the plate over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. Remove one of the screws from the mounting plate and loosen the remaining screws. Bring the LED light kit up to the fan and connect the two pin wire connectors. Align and twist the light kit over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. 
Bring the glass shade up to the fan and align it inside the light kit. Press and turn until snug. The fan is fully assembled and the remote is now ready to be synchronized. The fan is operated with a battery powered handheld remote. However, the fan may not accept commands from the remote until the remote is properly configured and paired. Before getting started, open the battery compartment of your remote to verify which version you have. If the remote has a 0 and 1 dip switch with a pairing button, continue watching. If the remote has a dim and on dip switch, skip ahead to the next section. For the 0 and 1 dip switch remote, begin by installing two AAA batteries. By default, the dip switch will be set to 0 for universal operation. Simply restore power to the fan from the breaker and press the power button to begin using the fan. If you are installing multiple fans, set the dip switch to 1 for paired operation. Restore power to the first fan only and leave all other fans disconnected from power. Within 30 seconds, press the pairing button in the remote. The fan light will flash on and off to indicate that the pairing was successful. Repeat the process for any remaining fans, being sure that only the fan being paired is connected to power. Power can safely be restored to all fans once the final pairing process is completed. To clear previous or unwanted remotes from the fan's memory, move the dip switch in the remote to the zero position. Disconnect power to the fan for a few moments, then reconnect the fan to power. Within 30 seconds, tap the pairing button in the remote. If done correctly, the fan light will flash on and off and all other remotes will be unpaired from the fan. For the dim and on dip switch remote, ensure two AAA batteries are installed. Then return power to the fan from the breaker. Within 30 seconds, hold the power button on the remote control until the fan's light begins to flash on and off. The remote control has been paired and you can now press the power button to begin using the fan. If you are installing multiple fans, you will need to disconnect power to all other fans while pairing each remote. Begin by restoring power to the first fan only, then complete the pairing process. Disconnect the fan from power and repeat the pairing process for any remaining fans, being sure that only the fan being paired is connected to power. Power can safely be restored to all fans once the final pairing process is completed. To clear previous or unwanted remotes from the fan's memory, disconnect power to the fan for a few moments. Reconnect the fan to power, then hold the power button on the remote until the green LED bar stops flashing. If done correctly, all other remotes will be unpaired from the fan. The on-off button toggles the fan function. The plus and minus buttons allow you to increase or decrease the fan speed while the fan is toggled on. The light button turns the LED light on or off. The dimmer buttons allow you to increase or decrease the luminosity of the light. Comfort Breeze is a feature that produces a natural feeling breeze by alternating between lower and higher speeds. To activate it, press the Comfort Breeze button. Each press increases the maximum speed that the fan will alternate through. 
the warm and cool weather buttons change the direction of the fan rotation. In warm weather mode, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to produce a cooling effect. In cool weather mode, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan must be on before pressing the warm or cool weather buttons. The timer button automatically turns the fan and light off after a certain amount of hours have passed. Pressing the button allows you to select a 2 hour, 4 hour, or 8 hour delay. Pressing the button a fourth time will deactivate the timer function. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. Want more details or have any questions? Just call the customer service number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching.